Hey folks, today we're gonna go fishing with some missile baits, okay? And guys, this is a Ned Bomb. Let's go see if we can catch some fish. Guys, I don't know how I got this fish in. I didn't cut the camera on during the fight because I set the hook on him and I got hung up. And I'm gonna show you why. See that right there? Those are crossbars on the front of that dock. See them, all them lines going left and right? Or crossbars. That's what you gotta watch on some of these docks. And you know what? I fished this dock enough to know that I had that. Wasn't thinking about it. Threw over in the boat slip. Moved the bait one time. Got bit. Then he hung me up. And I'm like, why did he hang me up? Look where he chewed my line up right here. Look right here. Y'all see that? Probably can't see it on the camera. You can see the loops and twists in it. Look here. Anyway, y'all been there. All right. And how I got him in, I don't know. Using a new bait here on you. Look at the belly on him. That's a nice bass. Hey guys, for 48 degree, 49 degree even now. <laughs> this is a missile baits. Everything I've used for missile baits, I have really enjoyed. I really liked. This is a missile baits Ned bomb. Now this weed guard right here, y'all see, I tied it on there. If y'all go read my uh, go on my channel and look up how to make a jig head weedless. That's what I done. It's a piece of mono. And it helps some. It don't help, you know, it's not impossible still not to hang it up, but it helps a little bit. It'll bring you across um, some thin, you know, some light limbs and stuff, as long as you don't set the hook on it. All right, guys, look here. You can see the fish coming in. See? See that rock bluff? Now you look in front of me. See the rock bluff? That's what I'm fishing now. I'm fishing a rock bluff. I don't know how big he is. He's throwing a fit. Again, I got. This is a medium light rod because I'm Ned rigging. I don't think he's that big, but I don't get in no hurry with him, guys. I'm in open water. There's nothing around. I'm in, what am I in? I'm in 30 foot of water. There's no trees here. I got him off the bottom, so. Well, he's bigger than I think he is. Hey, that's part of the fun, too. He's fighting him, right? Woohoo! Oh, he. <laughs> There he comes. That's a spotted bass. Now we know why he was throwing such a fit. I need to hit my spot lock on. I'll show you all this bluff again here in a second. When I'm, I'm just trying to find fish today, guys. I'm fishing docks. I caught one off that dock right over there. That's where y'all see me a while ago. There was a couple more there. Uh, where I caught the one, but they wouldn't hit me. Actually, they ran from my bait. <laughs> they ran from it. All right, this is a different color. This is green pumpkin, and it's got a clear tail, a little bit of flake in it. Using the Ned Bomb by Muscle Baits. First time I've used them, guys. So far, I've only fished them by, I've only been fishing them about 15 minutes. I done caught two fish on them. It's a pretty little spot. So I think it's going to be a good bait. It's a funny thing. I was planning on using them today anyway. And I was watching Titan with Bassin this morning, and they had a thing about Ned Rig, and I went, yeah. One of my favorite things to do, guys. Y'all go back and look. I got some older stuff on Ned Rigging, but uh, just trying to share something, a couple different things with you on Ned Rigging. Now, that was on the, uh, that was on the weedless head again. All right? See how this head's weedless? It's called a Flatlander head. And I got the other one rigged on uh, one of my baits that I made weedless, okay? Okay, guys, this is the bluff. That's what it looks like under the water. You can see the rocks coming out. It's all rock. And that's what I was doing. I was throwing over there and just popping it down that bluff. Now, I didn't see that fish. I was just, uh, might be a fish right there. See how that rock's making the L shape? It looks a fish sitting right there, doesn't it? I just have fished this blank many a times. This is on the creek I live on, so I just, I have fished it many a times and it's a good spot to pitch. Now, I'm gonna show you what it looks like out of the water. Bam! <laughs> it's big rocks in it. Now see hey, where them black spots are, it's those crevices in the rocks. Where this rock bluff goes all the way up through here. And I always fish it because it's in deep water. The back of the boat right now is in 17 foot. That's the back of the boat. That's where it's reading. The front of the boat's over 25 foot. 
Okay, you can see the front of the boat. I, I got it set on 26 foot. And it's black. It's no. It's not reading the bottom. So, so we're 25 foot here, right here. 25 foot, 17. So it's a good drop in it. And that's what I was doing, guys. I just pitched it over close to the bank like that. I letting her letting us walk down that bank, and I moved it. I didn't walk it, but a couple times. You know, if he's there and he's interested in all, you just you just pull it. Now I pull it a little bit. You know what it's doing as steep as that bank is. She's going down a lot, right? And I'm giving some slack line, and then I, when I see my line, I'm watching my line when it enters the water. And when I see my line slack a little bit, I know it's on the bottom again, and I'm just popping it a little bit, letting it sink. Dragging it like I showed you earlier on the bottom when I'm on the bottom with a little tape or something, I drag it or I reel it real slow. But on this bank, it's gonna be a little different because it's gonna drop. Now, you could reel it slow, but I'm just kind of dropping it like that. So when he, I want him to pick it up when it falls. That's what that one does. And I pulled it, and as I was watching my line, I see my line jump a little bit to the left or right, and I, and what I do is I reeled down and I pulled, and I felt him felt, felt the weight and I set the hook. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought he was a little one when we started. Oh, guess what it is. I hope he don't cut my line. It's a stupid pickle. <laughs> it's a fight, guys, but I don't like catching them. Toothly things. Oops. Let me, let me get my boat up here. They weapon the trolling motor, dude. Yeah, guys, it's windy. All right. If I don't hit my spot lock, I'll be on that rock bluff. I've come a good ways, guys, since the last one. And then this is the second area, but I'm seeing fish. I just uh, getting them to hit me, you know. Uh, the water's creeped up. To, he come off at, in the boat. Hey, like that. Thank you, Jesus, for that. But I started off this morning, guys. It wasn't hardly no wind at all. It was really nice. And uh, I left the house. I thought, man, it's gonna be a beautiful day. It was calling for a light five mile an hour wind. I thought, okay, it's gonna be a, this gonna be nice. And the first hour or so, it was fine. There's some fish under the boat right there. Look right here. Look at there. See them there? There they are. All right, let's see if we can find them. Looking where the scope's pointing. They're in, the, they're in this corner where that one just kind of kind of came from. All right, let me see if I can catch them. All right. All right, guys, I got one of them. I cut my camera off, guys, just to makes it easier for me to edit if I stop and start my camera uh, clips. Makes it a lot easier. And they were bass. That's what I figured. So that's what bass are doing in this cold water. You know, if it's nothing I share with y'all more in this video, then you just seen them bass right there. That's how I'm catching bass today. This makes like, now guys, I know y'all ain't gonna see but a couple in this video because I don't start another video. <laughs> I finished a video this morning on a Ned Red bait and I started another one on a different bait. There I got it. You gotta watch how you put your hand around that hook and he flops. The lower mouth will hold pretty still most of the time. Stripers are what you gotta watch. My fingers still a little bit sore from that striper driving that hook in in my hand. Now guys what I'm doing is trying to find the bass on my on my uh on my live scope once I find them on my live scope, all right, th I just found I just found some. It's crappy fish. He's gonna stop and fish this dock behind me. It's got crappy on it. Look here, I hear some fish right here. See him right there? When I tell you, he's gonna stop and fish this dock. This dock's got a brush pile underneath of it, but there's no crappy one. There's a couple there. I seen a couple there. I it wasn't enough for me to fool with. See fish right here? They're right at the bottom of that drop, okay? All right, guys. I got one of them. <laughs> I got the boat turned around where I could see them, and they're right at the bottom of that drop. They're in, oh, 18, 20 foot of water. There you go. And I finally got one of them to hit me. It's, two, it's about three or four of them. They toyed with me a little bit, and I finally got one of them to commit on it. There you go. There you go. He's a little spotted bass. 
I'm using the D bomb. I got it on this. I had him good, didn't I? He's about, he might be 12 inches. He's probably 11. He's probably 11 and I don't know, 13 16 or something like that. I got another one. I gotta move my glasses. Oh, he's feisty. <laughs> I thought he was gonna jump in the boat. <laughs> Were you trying to jump in the boat, buddy? <laughs> he came up and jumped upside the boat like he was coming in with me. Come here. Now, guys, I broke, I got a different head on here now. I broke off. I broke off on the fish. Right here. <laughs> and uh, I was hoping to catch him back. I'll catch the same fish. I've done that before. You ever cut broke off and turn and catch a fish a little bit later? That's a nice bass. Nice, thick, heavy bass. I mean, he's not that long, but he's a nice, thick one. I'm always guessing lens for y'all guys. He's right at 14. I think he's 14 and 1 16th. But look, I switched heads. They're using the D bomb. I went to this open here. I think it's by Chompers. Um, that weedless head's fine, but let me tell you what you gotta watch about a Ned rig. Let me give you a tip. I'm, I'm not gonna charge you for this tip. The way you a Ned rig hits the bottom, and the way you work it, this line tie hits all the time. You ever thought about that? Look where it's at. When you're hitting rocks, I came down that rock bluff just now, right? All the way down that rock bluff. And I, then I turned right here, and I, I done caught two fish on it and had me tied. I stopped here and threw, I seen a fish over here in front of me, I threw over there, there was three of them. And one of them nailed, I set the hook, and my line just broke. Well, this this right here gets beat all the time. Think about that. Every rock gets spit on that line tie. They're 40 feet away. Now, they're not that deep, guys. They're in 10 foot of water. They're 40 feet right there. I don't know how close I was to them. I need to see my bait again. And I'm fishing cover too. If I see a piece of cover, like stump or something, I throw at it. You know, and it needs to be at least in, those bass are in eight to 10 foot. See what they're doing this time of day. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's one, guys. There you go. He took off from my line. He's a little fella. What they're doing this time of day is they're getting them in shallow water because the water's warmer, right? They're getting them in the sun. Y'all hunting stuff. Like right now, this is the warmest spot I've been all day. I can tell you. That's why they're roaming right here. You ain't big enough to worry about. All right. Stop. All right, guys, that makes 10. I've caught 10 bass today. Now, that don't sound like much, but on this lake, that's pretty good. This lake's not an easy lake to catch fish on. Y'all can, some of y'all guys, I got some local guys making comments. And then what I'm saying, you can go on this lake and go out and catch one, two fish, and you're like, wow. And you can go out the next time and catch 10 out of the way Dennis get your arm out of the way all right he's a fat one he ain't very long he look like he's a fat one and guys I done I done moved a long ways I'm heading back home <laughs> I'm heading back in gosh for cold water now everybody thinks when the water gets cold the bass they don't know he came off in the net guys you see why I net him okay that's why I net fish when I'm trying to show you. If I'm just fishing for fun, I don't, guys. But I'm trying to film. I net them because I can't stand here and go like this if they don't make it to the boat. <laughs> He's fat, though. He's not real long. He's probably 12 and 11 sixteenths. Hey, guys. Missile baits. This, these things work good. Ned bomb. Okay, this was green pumpkin uh, flash. Okay. It's just green pumpkin, some gold and stuff in it. worked really Right. And this one is GP Ghost Tail. The reason they call it a ghost tail is got a clear tail on it. I thought that would be something different. I bought these uh, at Angler's Choice guys in Martinsville at their bait shop. You are in that area, they have a nice bait shop. I went over to get the, to work on my trolling motor. Whenever I looked around, I bought these. Guys, they have a good odor to them. I like that. I like companies that put odors on their bait. They got really help with scent on their bait. I was using, most of the time I was using this weed head. If you already seen them. And uh, guys, if any of these dead heads, look where your line tie is. It beats all the time on everything. Make sure you retie. So I lost one fish there because I didn't retie. That was my dumbest. Um, these are flatland 
custom uh, tackle company. It's called a uh, weedless net head. That's what, I, that's what I just showed you in that rod. They work fine. You can Texas rig it on there, guys. You don't get hung up so much. I like the Z-Mans. I use them too. And some of them got the weed guard. I've used those. And on the one rod, you see me catch a couple of fish on. Uh, it has, uh, that rod has uh, eight pound test on it. It's a medium action rod. I took one of the Z-Man heads that wasn't a weedless head and I tied a mono weed guard on it. I got a video of that guys how to make a jig weedless. I just tied a mono head on that helps a lot. Well guys, I hope it helps you. I shared a couple things with you. I shared a bait and a head that I've been using. And uh, share some uh, live scope shots with you how I'm, how I'm finding these fish in cold water. So the water's running 48, 49. Fish are running around eight to 15 foot. Sometimes I'd see them up on the slope in the sun. Sometimes I'd see them suspended. I think I could have caught some on the jerk baits. A lot of times they were suspended. They would be in six or eight foot and 15 foot. So that's why a jerk bait really works well done. But I wasn't fishing a jerk bait today. I was doing a video about the uh, Ned rig. So, well guys, I hope that helps you. My name is Dennis, Fish and Lane Country. Guys, please subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you next time on Fish and Lane Country.